Hey everyone, what if the next iPhone changes the game entirely? No buttons, no ports, no bezels. Just a screen that senses you. Or maybe Apple has hidden the front camera under the display. Could they be working on a foldable iPhone? What if the iPhone 17 charges from sunlight and lasts a whole week without plugging in? There are plenty of questions, but one thing is certain. This will be more than just an update. What will Apple dare to change? And what will remain untouched? Let's dive into the technologies that might appear in the next iPhone lineup and the rumors that are already making us count the days until the big reveal. Get ready, Apple fans. The new iPhone 17 is on the horizon and insiders are bursting with leaks. The biggest news? Apple is finally moving to a bezel-less display with an under-display camera. No notches, no cutouts, no dynamic island, just a pure OLED screen with a 120 Hz refresh rate and over 2,000 nits of brightness. The A18 Pro chip promises to be the most powerful in history, thanks to the 3 nanometer process and a new graphics engine designed for mobile gaming. And the cameras? a 48-megapixel main sensor with advanced periscope-style optical zoom, up to 10x lossless. However, a potential downside is Apple's heavy reliance on AI and automation, where the device will decide how to enhance photos or optimize tasks. This might not sit well with users who prefer full manual control. The battery is expected to last 20% longer due to a new energy-saving mode. And now, the most exciting part, the tactile home button is making a comeback, but not as before. It's now integrated into the screen. The release date is expected in the fall, and the price? Well, you know Apple. Lighter than air, faster than lightning, the iPhone 17 Air promises to be the sleekest and most powerful iPhone ever. Apple is finally betting on an ultra-thin body made of second-generation titanium, which is 20% lighter yet as strong as armor. The display? A 6.6-inch OLED with 120 Hz, now featuring nanoglass technology for enhanced scratch and impact resistance. Inside, the A18 Bionic chip crushes benchmarks thanks to its next-gen neural processor. The camera? a 50-megapixel sensor with advanced optics and a revolutionary night mode. Photos in the dark will look like they were taken in daylight. Charging, magnetic 40 watts, plus a groundbreaking solar charging option for emergencies. And now, the most unexpected feature, it will be completely portless, relying solely on MagSafe and a wireless ecosystem. So, it's fair to say that the iPhone 17 Air is setting a new standard for lightness and speed. However, in my opinion, its pursuit of absolute lightness could mean a smaller battery, potentially affecting its battery life. When will the presentation and release happen? Possibly in the fall of 2025. Who will buy it? I think those who dream of an ultra-light iPhone without unnecessary weight, but with no compromises in power. Now let's talk about the iPhone 17 Pro. And experts are already speculating that Apple is preparing something truly exciting. Insiders are convinced that it will feature a bezel-less OLED display, an underscreen camera, and a refresh rate of 1 to 120 Hz for smooth performance. The star of the show, the A18 Pro, a chip with insane power and AI. And the cameras? Here's where it gets interesting, a 10x periscope zoom and a 50 megapixel sensor that shoots like a professional DSLR. USB-C? Yes, but now with Thunderbolt 4 for instant file transfers. Rumors are even swirling about a transparent body. It sounds like sci-fi, but who knows? Apple loves surprises. Compared to other models, the iPhone 17 Pro will sit right in the middle between the ultralight iPhone 17 Air and the high-end iPhone 17 Pro Max. Unlike the Air, it will retain a full-size battery for better autonomy, though it will be slightly heavier. And as for how it stacks up against the Pro Max, well, we'll get to that next. 
If the iPhone 17 Pro is a sports car, then the iPhone 17 Pro Max is a bulletproof hypercar with a rocket booster. The difference is in everything. Let's start with the display, a 6.9-inch OLED with microlens technology, unbelievable brightness up to 2,500 nights, and an adaptive 1 to 120Hz refresh rate that saves battery. Speaking of battery, 20% more capacity, plus a new cooling system to prevent overheating, even when shooting in 8K. Insiders claim this camera will be the best in smartphone history. A new 12x periscope zoom, an ultra-sensitive 1-inch 50MP sensor, and an astro mode for capturing the night sky. There are also whispers of a hidden under-display front camera and the farewell of Dynamic Island. As for the A18 Pro, it's an AI monster, accelerating photography, video processing, and even voice commands. Yes, USB-C will remain, but now upgraded to Thunderbolt 5, transferring 4K videos in mere seconds. And now, for the most exciting part, the body will be made of liquid metal, capable of self-healing minor scratches. How's that for innovation? And finally, Apple may shift to 50-watt magnetic charging. No ports, just MagSafe, and a fully wireless future. Presentation is expected in the fall, and the price, well, Apple knows we'll buy it anyway, right? It's safe to say that the iPhone SE 4 is the most controversial iPhone of the future. Will it be compact? According to leaks, no. Apple is reportedly using the iPhone 14's body with a 6.1-inch OLED display. Does this mean the budget lineup is getting bigger? Looks like it. But here's the good news. Face ID replaces the home button, and the powerful A16 Bionic chip will handle modern games and cameras effortlessly. Speaking of cameras, there are two this time. A 48-megapixel main sensor and a 12-megapixel ultra-wide lens, meaning photos will finally reach a new level. USB-C? Yes, but without high speeds. Apple is clearly cutting costs on the port. So, who will buy it? Those who are tired of pro model prices, but still want solid performance without overpaying. Release? Likely in spring 2025, Apple tends to update the SE series every couple of years. The main thing is that the price remains reasonable, or else the whole point is lost. Do you think the iPhone 17 Flip is a myth or reality? Rumors about a foldable iPhone have been swirling for years. But as always, Apple is waiting for the technology to be perfected. However, experts are confident that if a foldable iPhone is coming, it will be part of the iPhone 17 lineup. What will this device be like? Logic suggests a clamshell design similar to the Galaxy Z Flip, but with Apple's signature magic we might see a 6.8-inch 120Hz OLED display inside and a 3-inch external screen for quick notifications and selfies. Or maybe Apple will surprise us with a hybrid of an iPhone and an iPad mini. Folded, it's a smartphone. Unfolded, it's an 8-inch tablet. But the biggest question is durability. I'd guess that Apple might go with next-generation flexible glass, capable of withstanding 500,000 folds without damage. Still, if Apple makes it too thin, there's a risk of hinge wear or display creases, and if they reinforce the structure, it could become bulky and heavy. Cameras? Likely the same 48-megapixel sensor with the A17 Pro, but with an upgraded stabilization system for flawless motion shots. As for the chip, either the A18 Bionic or something entirely new, as the foldable form factor requires optimized power consumption. And now, the most intriguing part? Will the Flip be portless? Possibly! Apple has long dreamed of eliminating ports, meaning charging would be MagSafe only. With data transfer via AirDrop and Wi-Fi 6E release? Most likely in 2025 to 2026, since Apple won't launch a foldable iPhone until it's perfect.